Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about the books I want to read in May. I'm going to be continuing my journey through the Oz books with book number 12 in the series called The Tin Woodman of Oz. I'm guessing this one's going to be about the Tin Man, who I guess would be my second favorite character after the Scarecrow. Well, I guess Dorothy's my favorite, but I guess he's my third favorite character. In this one, the Tin Man and the Scarecrow journey across the land of Oz, searching for the Tin Man's long lost sweetheart. Aww, got some romance in this one. <laughs> Continuing on with the theme of love, I want to read The Mystery of Love by Andrew Mia. Um, this is about Oscar Wilde, but told through his wife's eyes um, of their marriage and life together. I think that'll be interesting to learn about Oscar's wife, um, which is like someone that I've never like known much about. I feel like seeing like his life from like a different perspective, I guess. I think that sounds intriguing. Um, next one I want to read is The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. Uh, this is about a young Latina girl growing up in Chicago. And apparently this is told in vignettes, which to me would be like I guess small, small short stories maybe? I don't know. Um, and also, it is also a, a, like a really short book. I think it's like a hundred pages, so I mean just fly through that. And I've been wanting to read like um, celebrity like autobiographies, so I grabbed um, Homework, A Memoir of My Hollywood Years by Julie Andrews. Um, I haven't really seen Julie, I guess, in that much stuff. Like, mainly I've just seen her in Mary Poppins, which I love. Um, but this is about her rise to fame in her earliest films, including Mary Poppins and The Sound of Music. The Sound of Music I haven't seen yet, so it's on my to-do list. Um, and it also talks about, like, marriage and children and her life, like, outside of that as well. I hope those last... Uh, the thing about autobiography is, like, besides the writing, of course, is that I love seeing, like, all the old pictures and all that. So I hope there's lots of those in here. They, it seems like they have, like, glossy, like, inserts every few chapters. Like, for example, here. <laughs> also, continuing on with the celebrity theme, I grabbed Uncommon Type, some stories by Tom Hanks. Um, I didn't really know that he wrote books. I think this is his first book. I don't know if he has more now because I think this is like a couple years old. But it's a bunch of short stories by an actor. <laughs> um, this is, there's 17 short stories in here by, by, I already said that. Um, and it says that the stories are surprising, intelligent, and heartwarming. So they're all about like I guess different subjects. I don't know if you like mentions any of the subjects anywhere, but like, they have like a friendship here, um, something about World War II veteran, um, something about a second-rate actor, um, a small town newspaper columnist, a woman adjusting to life after divorce, um, four friends going to the moon, um, and a teenage surfer. So we just I guess different characters, like, um, all separate stories. And then I wanted to continue a series I started some time ago, um, called Echo in the Walls by V.C. Andrews. This is a book two in the House of Secrets series. Um, this is about a girl who used to be a servant in a rich household, um, and her romance with the rich house owner's son. Um, and this is, like, full of, like, family intrigue and, like, psychological chills. I don't know if I agree with that exactly, but I do find that the stories are always very dramatic and like fun. And I also want to continue another series that I've started like reading at least like one a month, um, which is the Anne of Green Gables series. So I want to read Anne of Ingleside by Ellen Montgomery. This is book six in the series. Um, and in this one, Anne is now a mother to five kids. <laughs> so like they skipped a lot of time between this book and the last book because she has five now. <laughs> Um, and she also has one on the way, <laughs> um, and she, but she starts worrying that her husband, Gilbert, um, doesn't love her anymore, which, come on. Um, and she sets out to make him fall in love with her, 
all over again, which sounds adorable but probably unnecessary. <laughs> so those were just some books that I want to read in May. Um, you know, I might like find some more I want to read too, like, because I still want to try and keep up with the 10 a month. And that wasn't 10 I just talked about, but <laughs> so I'll have to find some more in there. Um, but let me know what you want to read in May, and I will see you in the next video.